Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of both Rick Ware Racing and Spire Motorsports, I want to thank you for your time today and also welcome everyone who's listening on Sirius XM NASCAR radio. We have some uh, news today, and uh, with us to talk about all that is Robbie Benton, president of Rick Ware Racing, Jeff Dickerson, the co owner of Spire Motorsports, and NASCAR Cup Series drivers Corey LaJoy and Justin Haley. And we're going to take a page from our baseball counterparts who've got some hot stove news here. So, Robbie, tell us a little bit about why we're here today and, and kind of what's going on between these two organizations. Yeah, thank you, Mike. Um, well, I think probably as you can see, we could probably just stand here and let you take a photo and see who gets the lucky guest who gets a free lunch. Um, thanks for, uh, for taking the time to join us today. Uh, shortly after the Olympic break started, uh, Justin came to us with a, a pretty unique opportunity uh, for himself that put him in a position, I think, long term for his career that was uh, pretty attractive for him. And I think through the course of talking it through with him, and uh, obviously we have a, a close relationship with the guys at Spire and, and Jeff, uh, he, we came to the realization that it was probably best to let Justin out of his next year uh, of our contract and, and make a change. Um, in doing so, we felt like that it was probably best to uh, take the opportunity and, and make that change now. Uh, so Bristol will be the final race for, for each of these guys in, in their respective, rod, or respective rides. And starting at Kansas next week, uh, we'll do an old-fashioned player trade. So Corey will become the driver of the 51, and Justin will become or go back to uh, a previous home uh, with Spire in the 7. And Jeff, this does make somewhat of a, a homecoming for, for you and Justin. Talk a little bit about that from your side of the fence. Yeah, well, um, I think all you guys have, uh, you know, I think we're kind of like the test tube, you know, baby for, uh, for a NASCAR team. So you guys have all kind of like watched us grow up, and I think the the two guys that um, um, have built this place are um, Corey and Justin, right? Justin was, uh, was there. We've always been um, huge fans of Justin. Uh, you know, I think uh, you guys have seen him, uh, uh, his talent uh, shine through in the uh, Xfinity stuff, and now he's, uh, he's proven it every week in the Cup Garage. And um, look, uh, this is, uh, um, we're, we're super excited to have uh, um, have Justin join us for the uh, for the future, and uh, really happy um, that we could work closely with our with our partners at RWR to uh, to make this happen. And uh, Corey, Justin, Bass Pro Shops Night Race will represent your last race with your current organizations, and then both of you have seven races to really learn one another and, and your teams and figure out um, things for for next year. So Justin, I'll, I'll tee it up for you. What are you looking forward not only to this weekend at Bristol, but Kansas and those uh, six races after Kansas? Yeah, obviously, I'd like to start off and thank Rick and Robbie for everything they've done for my career, obviously. Um, it's been a good year. We've had a lot of good runs, and I appreciate the, the speed and effort and um, you know, everything they've done for me this year to this point. And hopefully we can cap it off with a good run this weekend for them. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to the race. We had an awesome car here in the spring. Um, I think we finished top 20, top 15, somewhere around there. So, um, yeah, super excited for that. But uh, Monday's a, a new page for me, kind of back to um, where I started my first Cup Series career races at. Uh, spent a lot of time there while I was racing. Xfinity, um, doing both. So, um, yeah, when Jeff Dickerson called me with this opportunity, presented it, um, I knew it was, uh, you know, something uh, that gave me a little bit more long-term stability and, um, you know, a, a good path for the future. So, um, yeah, I'm excited for this weekend to, to finish strong with what we've built at RWR and then, um, you know, hop over to something new next week. And, Corey, the same question to you. Yeah, I mean, it's been a whirlwind for me the last couple months, just, uh, you know, the news before the break and, you know, praying in my life for closing doors and opening doors. It's just, it's not coincidence that, that this is such a unique thing. My entire career has been, been pretty unique and my trajectory to get to the Cup Series is, has been kind of unique, but I'm, I'm excited for the challenge. My entire career has been a challenge and, and Jeff and TJ and everybody from, from Spire, we've had a lot of nostalgia reminiscing this week of just catching up and, you know, crying and hugging and doing all the things. But there are 
now hundreds, but you know, there was a core group of about 30 guys at Spire that, that were there that were the OGs and Justin was a part of that. Um, and it's cool that, uh, those guys continue to, to grow and to learn. They've had a great year. Um, you know, I wish the, the summer months would have went a bit better for us, but you know, for me just, um, you know, it was, it was a, it was a tough little stretch of, of a lot of self self-imposed wounds that, that, um, you know, I, I tripped myself up, but nonetheless, we've had a great little stretch the last couple months and t tomorrow night's not going to be any different. I think we're going to go execute the last race with Sparks and Roy and Adam, uh, let's go ahead and name them all, Ira. Brandon Cavage, Chad, like all the entire the entire seven team, like those. It's a it's a band of brothers because you are forged just in the trenches of of Sunday race and and those guys have Inspire have provided for me an incredible platform and I'm excited for uh, just some clarity of what my future might look like to finish the rest of the year with with R Robbie and Rick and the entire group over there. It's gonna be it's it's unprecedented. It's gonna be interesting to just change over seats, but at the end of the day, I can't see what the number on the side of the car is. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna drive that thing just like I stole it each and every week, and and try to keep the wheels pointing the straight in in the same direction, and and see where it all shakes out from there. But um, been pretty crazy couple weeks. This week in particular has been pretty pretty wild.